All right, you guys, um, this video is just going to be a quick um, over overview on how to set up um, mouse look for if you only have a joystick for simulator battles. Um, so this, what this is going to allow you to do is um, if you only have a joystick, you're going to have full view control um, and with one hand and your joystick in the other hand. Um, so what we'll do here is just hop into the controls. Um, so the way I tell people to do this, I don't have a joystick. I, it's, um, a couple of friends of mine use this setup, um, and I've passed it on because it seems really effective as far as being able to track the enemy. Um, having smooth camera movements. I know a lot of people that only have a joystick are using the hat switch and um, like pop it, like looking up, looking back, looking up, looking back. And that's really hard to track a moving target because your camera is stationary and the target's always moving. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to have to configure your setup, your desk, whatever, to have your mouse in your left hand and your joystick in your right. So, um, once you get that figured out, how you're going to have that situated, you come into the controls, basic controls, and under mouse usage, you want to put it on view. Um, and what that's going to do is, in, in game, when you move your mouse, your head movement is going to be nice and fluid. Um, you'll be able to look all over. And then... Um, so what this is going to allow is your mouse has multiple buttons on it. So if you can imagine having a joystick and a throttle assembly um, as separate units, you're going to have the throttle in your left hand and your joystick in your right. So with the mouse in your left hand, you can use this as a throttle assembly with either the mouse wheel or the um, two buttons. If you're if you're if you prefer using the mouse wheel for your throttle it's going to um, increase your throttle incrementally or I think percentagely like by the percent so um, you'll have to be quick on your fingers if uh, if you want to throttle down or throttle up really fast but I think you can get used to that pretty easy and what the way you set that up is mouse wheel under basic controls and you want it on throttle axis um, so once you have that set up for mouse wheel and throttle axis, if you don't, if you don't want the mouse wheel and throttle axis, I would suggest having, um, right click be throttle up and left click be throttle down. And the way you do that is, uh, let's see here, throttle axis right here. And you would want relative control as yes, um, a control step sensitivity of 100% and a relative control step of 10%. And then what you do is you hotkey increase and decrease value to your right and left mouse button. And so ever if you click once on the right mouse button, you're going to increase it 10% and the left button decrease it by 10% increment. Um, it, I would, I would, um, suggest using the mouse wheel as throttle um, just because throttle it's important but it's not as important as um, like viewing and aiming so going on to that what I would suggest is using your right click and left click as a zoom and a reset function or a reset view function. So no matter where you're looking, if you want to zoom, you just click one button, no matter where you're looking. And say you want to instantly aim down your sight. So what you would do is click and hold the zoom button and click the other mouse button that's reset view. And so the way you set that up is under view controls. Um, to get the reset view, you want um, cockpit view. You want to hotkey that to say the left mouse button. It could be either or, no matter what, just kind of your own preference. So 
cockpit view, hotkey that to one of the mouse buttons, and you don't want to mess with the zoom camera. You want to come down to zoom axis right here, and you want relative control as no. None of this stuff really matters. Or yes, yes, this does matter. So you want relative control as no. You want to um, put a zoom axis of anywhere, any axis. If you have a throttle on your joystick assembly itself, use that axis um, and just assign it. Because you can actually assign uh, your pitch axis or something else too. Because what we do is disable any workings of the axis itself um, by putting relative control as no, a dead zone is 0.5, um, the sensitivity and the step at minimum, the multiplier at minimum, and correction doesn't matter. But, and then what you do is you want a maximum and the reset value both hotkeyed on the right mouse button. As you can see that, it's a, I have that for when I'm in gunner view on, on the gunners. And so what you can do, what you do there is it allows you to push and hold. It's a push and hold. It's not a, the zoom um, camera is a push, push to zoom, push to unzoom. So what this is a push and hold. So when you're going to um, aim down your sights, what you'll do is just push and hold the zoom button and then push the view reset button and it no matter where you're looking it'll reset your view looking down the sides zoomed in ready to fire um so that is how you configure that um and then once you once you get everything configured um you've what you've done by using your mouse's view is you've freed up your hat switch so a lot of people um that I've talked to are using the hat switch as a head to move the head around in the cockpit. Um, so like say you want to look up over your seat and behind you. So with your mouse you would look behind you and with your hat switch you would just push up. And so configuring the head movement, uh, not so much forward backwards but up down left and right, you would want that to be up down left and right on your hat switch. So once you get all of that configured in, that's pretty much the setup. Um, and then after that, you have to deal with sensitivities and your smoothness. And that's all done right here. Um, sensitivity and zoom, camera mouse look speed, camera look speed, and camera smoothness. Uh, you, you're going to want to adjust those to your liking. Um, and, and then just practice getting used to using your mouse in your left hand. Um, I know a lot of people also have other um, other macro buttons on their mouse that you can take. You can move stuff either off your keyboard if you're using joystick keyboard, or you can move stuff off your joystick and move it to your macro buttons on your mouse. Um, the other thing is you're you'll probably still need some keyboard functions. So have, like your layout of your desk. Um, Try to make it so you can easily just take your mouse off your left hand, push the keyboard button, and then come back on your mouse. Um, I know I do that a lot with my controller, like doing callouts and stuff. It's all keyboard. Um, I just take my hand off my controller real fast and type the keyboard buttons, and then I'm back with full control with my controller. But for the people that are using joystick only and don't have something like Track IR or a face tracker, that works nice and smooth. This is an awesome option. Um, and it's, I mean, you already have the hardware. You already have your mouse. It's, the game works with it. So really the only thing you need to get started in simulator battles is a joystick because you already have your mouse to look around. Um, so that's, I guess, the basics of setting up mouse look for, for joystick only users that don't have a secondary view controller like track IR. Um, I hope this helps you out and let me know um, if you have any questions on little 
find tweaks or anything. I can try to help you out. I don't use this. I have friends that use it, so I might have to, it might be a little while before I can get back to you on the comments. All right, thanks guys.